them the question they didn't say nothing we serve a great God yes
Jesus, you're taking time now. This is not a class, this is the service. I'll come back and do a teaching class if you want, I will. Praise the Lord. So, this prophet sent out an email. Someone say email. Say email. There was no Facebook. Not yet. And in the email, it was a six page prophecy that was typed that God spoke to this prophet about what would happen in Kenya in the coming days. Especially first about the presidential election on December 27th 2002. And the Lord said I have chosen Y. Kibaki to be the president of Kenya and he will be like a Joseph a good economic manager a great administrator and a man that will put things in place for the country to be developed how many know that came to pass and then the Lord said that he was bowing down from heaven this is God speaking you understand? Someone say this was God speaking. Jehovah God. Jehovah God. Himself. Through his prophet. He said he was bowing down and kissing the nation of Kenya. Woo! Somebody give God some praise. And he said there will be development and all kinds of massive improvements in the nation. How many can look back to 2002? Come on now. Until now and see just how much has happened in Kenya. Someone shout hallelujah. Shout hallelujah. 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 Are you understanding? <laughs> and then in 2007 the Lord spoke again and said why Kibaki will be re-elected and then when he was all hell broke loose how many remember 2008 the very few days of January, the month of January, 2008, after the election, on Sunday night, December 30th, Mwai Kibaki was sworn in again, and the violence went all through the country. How many remember that? But earlier in the year, God spoke to this prophet, and he even had a meeting with the Minister of Foreign Affairs, Raphael Tuju, and told him all the prophecy. And Raphael looked, big eyes, he didn't say anything but he delivered the message to the president and they were all amazed when all these things happened 
The Lord spoke about the wave of violence. The Lord spoke about the election being difficult. But then, God sent this prophet to pray in Kenya for many days and then to stand up on January 7th or 14th, I can't remember. And said to a big crowd in Nairobi, Thus saith the Lord, mass action you understand? Will become mass nothing this week. How many know that came to pass? Everywhere the opposition went, they got shut down. And the movement couldn't get bigger. And everybody better thank God. That God had his prophet and he also had many people praying that this would not become like a mini Rwanda because it was going that way. Only 1,300 people died but it could have been tens of thousands. It could have been hundreds of thousands. How many thank God it was stopped? It was never good that it happened it was not the will of God but God warned ahead of time that it would happen but how many know the devil is defeated how many know the devil is under our feet come on preach man come on preach it how many know the devil is under our feet you a preacher you gotta preach once in a while come on now. Look at him, shut your head and say, preach, man. Uh, amen. He yeah, says, amen. And then, the Lord spoke about road development. Even that there would be super highways in Kenya. Who could imagine? I asked the lady from Kasarani. Kasarani. This guy. I don't know. Where are you? You don't know. Him. Okay. Praise the Lord. I'm, I'm, just, I'm just joking around. And I said, How? I said, Woman, how was it to get to Nairobi from Kasarani? How is it? And she said to me, it's pure hell. What a way to say it. There's no pure hell. Hell is not pure. But that was her expression. It took so long. How many remember the roads, how bad they were then? How many remember Thika Road before? How many remember? Let me see your hand. But how does it look now? Some say, Praise the Lord. <laughs> hey, God spoke. Also about economic development. I want to tell you a secret. The prophet who spoke all these things is now right here talking to you Amen. live here in, in Ketundo South. Wave your hand to the Lord and say thank you. Hallelujah. Much more to say. But I want to say this is a season of economic breakthrough now. How, 
I'm wondering about you. Are you there? Okay. <laughs> I go there, there. I see that. <laughs> How many of you need your economy to be increased? How many would like your money situation to be blessed and increased? Well, I want to prophesy to you that God is causing a lot of new business development, a lot of new financial miracles, a lot of new industry, a lot of creativity, a lot of new things not for the devil's people but for God's own sons and daughters so much shout hallelujah yeah now I've written books on all this so you can get them on my website and I'm going to be adding so many more things there on thomasmanton.com Manton let me spell it T-H-O T-H-O M-A-S M-A-S M-A-N M-A-N T O N T O N dot com dot com Thomas Manton Thomas Manton Thomas I like how you say Thomas Thomas I, I can Thomas do. Manton Thomas Thomas Manton Manton M A N like man M A N T T T T T T T T T T like Thomas. T to a tata. Oh Jesus. <laughs> Jesus. T. 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 You can't say it. That's okay. Uh, we'll have a we'll have an English class soon. <laughs> Maybe I'll speak in Kikuyu. <laughs> also on Facebook you can follow us there, okay? On Facebook, hello? They do on Facebook on our day home. You can follow us there, okay? No, 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 you're the home. Somebody lift your hands. I want to prophesy of the Katundu South right now. And then our pastor is coming. Father, I thank you that you've heard the cries of your people. And I declare under your anointing that new things are going to begin to happen in this region. New business development. New industry development. New businesses. New entrepreneurs. New business people. New ministries. New outreach. For multiplied thousands of people to be saved, healed, and delivered, but also blessed financially. We break the curse of poverty that's been on your people. We prophesy, Lord, your fire against every demon, every ritual, every cultural problem that's not from heaven let it be broken and removed and let your people begin to understand and learn the laws of God for biblical economics how to give how to tithe how to bless others how to sow seed how to plant how to get ideas from you how to create business plans how to write ministry plans and Lord I thank you for the people that are right for us they are coming to us and we're coming to them 
and there's going to be a divine impartation and restructuring of things that everything be done in tremendous excellence and everything be done with tremendous power and great physical energy might and strength and good health and brilliant wisdom from you on how to proceed in my life and I will be blessed that your people will be blessed and everything will increase all across the nation of Kenya poverty is of the devil prosperity is of God financial riches is of God financial lack is of the devil and because of ignorance because of culture because of things that are just not right God take your people out from that and bring your people here on the earth into the heavenly system that they learn the ways to get blessed they learn your laws on how to prosper all through the Bible God spoke about ways that his people can prosper and gain success and be successful and not be failures but to be successful people brilliant people rich people not poor but rich everybody say that in your mouth I'm not poor but I am rich say I am not poor I am not poor say I will never be poor anymore I will never be poor anymore it's not of God the devil wants me to be poor but I refuse it but God wants me to be rich. And I am rich. Say I will be rich. Because I'm already rich. I will be blessed. Because God has already blessed me. He's already given me. His ability. To do great things in the world. And Ketudu. And Kenya and the whole world needs to become a better place to live for everybody because I was here. Somebody give the Lord a praise right now. Shout yes, I receive it. The world needs to be affected improved increased and blessed because the church is rising up in power because the sons of God and the daughters of God are rising up Woo! somebody come on now come on wow I want to prophesy one other thing. Praise the Lord, lift your hands. I prophesy that violence will not be in your land. And I prophesy by the Spirit of the Lord, not Thomas, but Jehovah, speaking now, to him be all the glory. To him alone be all the praise. Never to man. Always honor to God. I prophesy. I prophesy. That law enforcement will be able to control. There will be a miracle in law enforcement. Here. 
and people that are committing murders, people that are terrorizing people, they will be caught and they will be prosecuted and that nonsense will be stopped. In Jesus' name, stand up on your feet and shout one time and give God some praise. Come on, give God some praise. Shout, 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 shout. Joshua, Joshua 6.16. Joshua. Joshua 6.16. Joshua told the people, shout, because the Lord has given us the city. Go ahead and do it right now. Shout, because the Lord has given you the city. Wow, the presence of God is falling. I see miracles happening here. We curse every cancer virus. I curse, I curse every HIV virus. I curse every sickness and disease. I, I curse every physical ailment and problem. And the Holy Spirit is moving in a wave of healing. A wave of healing. And the presence of the Lord is falling here right now. Shh, lift your hands. Just, can you feel? Can you feel? If you need healing, someone has a knee problem. Someone has a problem. You hurt your foot. Somebody else has a problem in the elbow, the shoulder. I see all kinds of bones. You know, accidents, arthritis, and stiffness. Blood, blood pressure problem. Blood sugar problem. And let me say something, you need to change your diet. Drink more water. Eat more healthy foods. Do more exercise. It's good. But the Lord is healing people. I see, I see someone who had very bad headaches because of a vision problem. And the Lord's healing you right now. I don't know where you are. But right I see someone that has a, a terrible problem breathing. The pipes in the lungs and the throat are very uh, irritated. Take a deep breath right now because the Lord is just fixing Somebody that needs a new kidney, God's giving you a new kidney. Somebody that has a problem in your liver, also in the digestion, the healing presence of the Lord is touching you. Lift your hands and receive. There's a woman here, maybe more than one, maybe somebody watching by a video, who has a problem in the ovaries. The female reproductive part. I command healing upon that. I command every cyst and tumor to go. I see someone, you're very weak because your blood is not strong. I see the blood being fixed by God. Whatever is bad is being removed. And whatever you need is being added. Lift your hands. Any ailment or sickness you have, anything at all, 
The Lord wants to heal you right now. Father, I thank you for your healing fire. I thank you for the spirit of might. The strength of God. The power of God. For healing. And, and one more thing. For you to be blessed in your financial life. God wants to bless you with money. God wants to bless you with property. God wants to bless you with your own office and your own business. God wants to bless many people with ministries. And give them great, great, tangible things for that. And I declare it's coming into your hand. I prophesy that the right people are coming to you. And you're also going to meet them. Pastor, I want to prophesy. People that have not been tithing, they're going to feel convicted by the Spirit of the Lord to bring their tithes into the house. Amen. The Lord will visit you yes. and tell you bring your tithe to me. Bring your tithe to the house of God. Bring your offering to the house of God. And guess what happens when you do that? God begins to bless you. Blessings you've never seen before begin to happen for you. That's how you get blessed. And also to put together an ingenious way of living and doing business. But because you're a covenant person in the house of God, because you're a tither, because you're a giver, the Lord will then visit you and give you new ideas and new opportunities and new finances and new resources. Say amen if you receive Amen. All right, more later. More later. Come on, man. More later. What? How do you say that? More than that. More later, I said. Later. Yeah, later on. Later on. Another time. Okay. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> ah, yeah, yeah. Lift your hands. More later, more later, next time. Whenever. I'm Thomas Manton the fourth. That's because my father was Thomas. And my grandfather was Thomas. And my great grandfather was Thomas. So now I'm Thomas number four. You understand? So visit us on Facebook. How many are on Facebook? Are you sure you're there? Okay, just put Thomas Manton. Or you can put Dr. 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 Yeah, DR. G. Doctor. Doctor. Yeah, DR. Doctor DR. DR Thomas Manton. DR Doctor Thomas Manton. No, DR. D D R D for Doc. Thomas Manton. Thomas Manton. Right. You got it. You got it? Write it down. Put it in your phone. Say hi. Say hi to me. I'm from Kutungu. Alright? And online, I can teach you many things. How many want to learn things? How many want to learn about the laws of God? That's where it's at. 
Stretch your hands toward your pastor. Father, I thank you for the touch of heaven upon your servant here and his wife. And I thank you that great revelation is going to flow through them to teach the people. Yes, to preach. But also to teach the laws of God on how things work in God's kingdom. And people from this church, many will become millionaires. Somebody say praise the Lord. Many will begin to be blessed in their business. Blessed in their family. Because they're learning and obeying the words that God is speaking. In Jesus' name. Let's give the Lord a hand of praise as we receive your pastor. As we receive the pastor. Come on, man of God. All right. Can everybody blow me a kiss? Come on, come on, come on. I felt it. Amen. Thank you for your love. Lord, let's, let's, give, one, let's, give, let's give one to Jesus. Jesus, we love you, we love you, we love you, we love you. We love you. Rose of Sharon. Rose of Sharon. Lily of the Valley. King of Kings. Bright and morning star. Lift your hands. The presence of the Lord is here. And again, God just arranged this. And I'm so amazed. Let's just wave and give God a, a, a hand of worship. I love you. See you next time.